G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and welcome back to another episode of Tech Tuesday, where every Tuesday we get together, we talk about some new, different, or just exciting technology in the FPV drone racing world, and today, we've got a pretty crazy looking motor. This is the Engineer X, and I'm pretty excited because, look, the guy who designed this thing was doing a lot of, not work for Brother Hobby, but a lot of testing, and then the story is they said, well, what motor do you want? And this is the result that came out of it. So I'm excited to test out these motors, and I don't usually do this on Tech Tuesdays, you know, motors, what can you say? But I do have a bit of a project. A little while ago, we reviewed this piece of rubbish right here, which I said, don't buy because I like the internals, but I hated the motors, and as a result, they burst into flames on their first flight but I'm gonna see if I can resurrect this and turn this into an absolute freestyle powerhouse beast by putting on some crazy powerful motors with the rest of the kit in here anyway what we should do first let's stick the motors on the bench and then I'm gonna show you installed and then I'm gonna show you them installed on the craft and then go have some fun and rip it around all right so let's cut to the bench have some fun in three two one alrighty so here it is on the bench and first things first you can see it's a very unique look and design so it doesn't look like many of our current motors out here it's got an engineer branding on the top engineer X I should say and if you haven't heard of him before, definitely go check him out. His channel is crazy. All he does is motor reviews, so he knows an awful lot about it. And it looks like Brother Hobby and him finally got together and they said, well, what motor do you want? And he came up, this was his design in the end. So what I wanna do, let's stick it on the scales. I and mean, it's gonna be a bit of a heavier motor because it's a 2307, so it means the state is a little bit taller. And also this one's a 20, this is the 2700 KV variant, but there's a couple of different variants, but putting it on, on the scales, let's turn them on first. With all, it's got a long wire on there, which is gonna be good for like a, maybe like a six inch build or something like that but with that on the outside the wire as well it's coming in at 36 grams so let's say a 35 gram motor it's definitely not the lightest motor out there but uh, it is a relatively large motor as well now it's got a titanium hollow shaft that goes right all the way through our little hex nut in the bottom right there it's got the 16 by 16 mounting holes which is nice in it, you do get a little low profile lock nut, which uh, I'm a big fan of. I like the low profile ones. I think they're a much better choice. And uh, especially if you've got some really tall props. And I think this one is designed, you know, because it's such a powerful motor, I do think it's gonna pull a lot of amps, but it is designed for mainly a freestyle quad because it's a bit heavy, I think, to be a racing motor. Should have plenty of power and uh, also plenty of punch. Now I'm gonna flash some pictures on the screen. You can see it does look very different to some of the other motors out there. There's no naked bottom on this one. And uh, that's not because of any special reasons or anything like that. It was just to keep the shape the same so that's why brother hobby went with that bit on the bottom but uh, i do think it looks pretty cool you can see on the top we've got a little bit of i guess grip here for when we're really tightening our props down so they're not going to slip and also we've got these ridges in the outside now there's no active cooling but from what i've heard brother hobby did this rather than just have a smooth motor on the outside they kept this orb shape we put these little ridges in here just as a bit of extra surface area to help dissipate some of that heat now quickly some of the other specs it is a single strand piece of wire which is good and also it's meant to have a really really good bearing in here that's quite durable so i think this motor with its shape and its design i think it's going to be very strong should hold up very well in crashes especially with the titanium you know this nice round shape as well and a really really high quality bearing in the middle but that's it i guess very quickly on the bench i want to see if i can put this in a craft if it's going to make a difference go out and have some fun Okie dokie, so here we are. We've put it on the futon and check this out. Look at the power difference after a bit of a blip of the throttle. It, the throttle stopped there and it is still going up. So you get so much thrust from these motors. Even though they're a bit of a heavier motor, they are just, they've got just so much power coming out of them when you put on a bit of a, a powerful prop as well. Look how far this thing has gone back. It is just absolutely punching a hole in the sky. But you are going to feel it when it comes to weight. So I don't think it's designed for those ultralights or anything like that. Now in terms of the actual flight characteristics, when it's on the track, you can see it is just got power that's what i want to say the most about this thing on the 2700 kv variant it just had oodles of power pumping out and uh maybe more than i was sort of used to it's definitely designed for one of those heavier crafts i think something like the talon the rooster maybe the chameleon some of those quads that are a bit more bulky because that's where you're going to get the most out of these motors because they're so powerful they've really got heaps of grunt to pull you through now look at this hairpin just straight away if you keep it on the throttle it just rocket back rockets back in the same direction so i was really impressed in there and that's something i like about the heavier crafts too i feel like they're not as not pushed around as much by the wind now some of you are going to notice i did think because of the extra power that's coming through you want to make sure you've got a clean rig because i was getting a little bit of fpv noise that was coming into the feed so make sure you've got some capacitors or something like that on your craft because they're sucking down so much juice and you are getting that power but you did and do need to make sure you're cleaning up your fpv feed as well and the other one you're going to notice that it's going to start to suck out of your battery so if you want some of those longer flights i don't think these motors are the most efficient whatsoever because they really were sucking down the amps i was using a 1500 size battery 
We're probably getting a two and a half, maybe three minute flight time. And look, overall, I did notice my battery was coming down warm. But for some people, that's not a problem. Maybe you don't fly quite as hard or you don't hit the throttle quite as much. But it is nice if you do need that extra power, you can put the stick down, put the hammer down, and you are, you're just going to be rocketing around up into the sky. Now something I was really pleasantly surprised with, when they came down, even though they don't have active cooling, the motors weren't warm whatsoever, and look, I was definitely pushing it, really putting it through its paces, but there was, it wasn't too hot, so I don't think you're going to be burning out any motors or anything like that. Please make sure you've got some chunky ESCs on there, you know, at least 30 amps, because they are, I just want to stress again, they do draw down a lot of current. But what do you guys think? I definitely think it's made a huge difference to this futon. You can see I'm running out of battery there, but you know, if the, the, bat, the motors that were on this thing compared to now, it's a completely different beast. Alrighty, so there it is. There's my, I guess, Tech Tuesday. Quick look at Engineers, X Motors, and the 2700 KV variant. I really, really liked them. I definitely think they're made for some of those heavier crafts out there. Things like the Roosters, the Talons, those larger crafts, because it is such a big, powerful motor. And I don't think it's really made for those ultralights, because it's probably going to snap an arm. Now, and speaking of that, they did hold up very, 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 very well in crashes. And I absolutely smashed this thing. And uh, you can see, I'll flash a picture on the screen, but the camera is all buckled in. I ran straight into a flagpole, which which is kind of why I always harp on about camera protection. I don't like frames that don't protect the camera because it's got to be done right. And I hit it so hard. Look what happened to my TBS Triumph antenna. Like it actually exploded. I've never broken one of those in my entire life. The flag is completely buckled, but it was a massive stack. But the drone still does fly in terms of like the motors are pairing up. I can hover it, but the FPV is totally gone. But I did have a lot of fun with them. They definitely upgraded this craft from, you know, average motors. It was, well, burst into flames. So this thing, it flew very, very quickly. It was very responsive on the sticks. And I think for a freestyle frame, you're going to have a lot of fun. But what do you guys think? What do you also think about the, I guess, the shape of them? Thumbs up if you like them. Thumbs down if you think uh, they look a bit too different for you. Subscribe for more FPV related content. Go check out Engineer X channel and I'll link his motors down below as well. And as always, Happy flying! Alrighty, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out these videos. And I'm also going to leave a little link here to my Patreon page because I've got some fantastic Patreon supporters and I like to give back to them as well. So if you want to join the UAV Futures family, there's things like bonus Velcro straps, little bundles of FPV goodies and things like that that also get sent out. Anyway, happy flying!